Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting tricky problem today. Why this problem is tricky? Because right here we have minus, it's not like a traditional problem like 2 to the power x equal to 4, which we know how can we solve it. But right here we have minus, so it looks like a tricky problem and I want to show you how can we how can you solve it? First of all, for example, if we don't have any parentheses right here, so if we don't have these parentheses, we will have minus 4 to the power x equal to 4. So we reject this parentheses real quick, I want to show it. So if we reject it and multiply it by minus 1 both sides, we will have that 4 to the x equal to minus 4. So we have this expression and the best way to solve it or to see a roots is to draw a real quick graph right here and 4 to the x, this is our increasing exponential function, and minus 4, this is a constant function. And if you look closely to this, this is 4 to the x, this is minus 4, this is constant, this is our x, this is our y, this is our 0. And if you look closely to this, we will have root when we have the point of intersection, but this exponential function does not intersect with this x right here, so this goes closer and closer, and right here this is a constant, so this, not, this, this line does not go closer and closer, this go constantly minus 4. So as a result right here we will have no real roots. But this is about like when we don't have parentheses. So I, re I reject this parentheses and we don't have it. But in our case we have this parentheses, so we need to work with this. So we will have minus 4 to the power x equal to 4. And let, let's do this, let's try to, to take a lock on both sides and we'll have, we'll have our we will have our answer. But first of all, I want to write this function. So if we have a to the power y equal to x. So we will know this function. This is look, look, like, look like exponential function. And moreover, this can be written as log log x base of a equal to y. So we can write this function completely the same as right here in this way as logarithm right here. But if you know a little bit about log, this one can be written as log minus 4, base of minus 4, to the power 4 equal to x. So let's rewrite this one, doesn't need these variables, we need our case, because we have minus 4 to the x equal to 4, and we can write it as in logarithm form. Moreover, we need to know three really important steps. So if we have log, a need to be positive. So a is our base, base is negative. So in our case, this one does not work. The second step, a don't need to be equal to 1. In our case, a is our base, minus 4 don't e is not equal to 1, so as a result this step is good for us. The third step, we need to know that our x is greater than 0, but in our case our x is a power, is this number, in our case x equal to 4, so as a result is greater than 0, so this is good for us. But two rules is good, one is not good. So as a result, we can easily say that this log, log right here, this equation does not have real number rules because we need to, that our log will exist when three, three steps right here is good and that then our log exists. But right here, our log with this minus four does not exist. So in this step, we don't have no real solution. So right now we only left with is complex roots and let's try to let's try to solve it but how can we find complex roots i want to show you a really interesting tricky tricky moment so we have minus 4 to the power x equal to 4 as a result right here we have minus here yeah? and we know that i square equal to minus 1 yeah i square equal to minus 1 so let's change this minus by i square so as a result 4 times i square to the power x equal to equal to 4. And if you know a little bit about power rules, this x goes right here with multiplying and this x multiplying, not multiplying but raising. So we have 4, 4 to the x times e to the power 2x equal to 4. So I hope you, I hope you understand this step. And it looks like right here we can easily, so right here this is not like e but I this complex number, okay, let's go next. We have x, we have x, we need to find this x, but how can we do this? We have a product, so it looks like it's really good to take log on both sides. If we take log on both sides, we'll have 4 to the x times i to the power 2x, yeah, equal to log log 4. And why I take log on both sides? Because if you know a little bit about log, if we have a product, the log of a product, we can write it as a sum of two log, so log 4 to the x at first, and plus log i to the power 2x 
equal to log equal to log 4 real quick right now x goes right here will come down and to x right here the same because this is a log log property so x times log 4 plus 2x times log i equal to log equal to log 4 okay real quick right now x is a common so we can easily factor it if you factor this x we will have in parentheses right here log 4 real quick and plus 2 log i this is a complex part equal to log log 4 okay and the last step how can we find this x this is a constant doesn't matter with this complex number this is still a constant so as a result x equal to this is our numerator because we, we divide it by this parentheses log 4 over log 4 plus 2 log i this is our our solution i hope you understand this this explanation if it's not hard to you please write to your respond to this to this problem tricky problem in this moment i show that no real roots if we don't have parentheses in this in this part i show that right here if we go with log even with log log does not exist with this minus four and in this part of course we need to find roots because right here if we don't have real roots maybe we will have complex roots we don't know about it but as you can see we find our our x Write your response about this problem. If it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.